hi and welcome to my channel so today it is not my Tuesday look because um, I've done the 50s so I've went right up to the 50s again and I've already done the 50s and did a Marilyn Monroe look which was um, 50s inspired so um, I thought I'm not going to do another 50s for you guys but I do have something that I could put up today and it will be a look so it is dun 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 Soph does nails. So it's a Revolution palette and it's by Soph. Now, Soph does nails is a YouTuber and I love her. I've loved her YouTube channel for ages. Well, since I started watching YouTube religiously on makeup, Soph does nails has always been there. Once, twice a week, I always watch her um, videos. I'm always dipping in and out. She does um, a full face of amazing products, a full face of really cheap products. She tries um pound shop products she tries everything and she does it um with a real down-to-earth style so you can imagine she's just a really nice girl so i have her on my instagram and i have her on my twitter and i just love her so anyway she announced that she worked with revolution to create her own palette and this is it that's so cool so if you're a youtuber just starting out or you're lucy part face or your diary for 40 something who are a thousand subscribers and heading for a thousand really quickly this could be you girls you could be doing your own palette one day i mean um soft does nails has like thousands of followers but she started off with one subscriber that's amazing so she is a real life youtube dream success story so well done soft does nails i absolutely love your channel i'm not sure if you'll ever see this video and i'm not sure if i'll ever do your palette justice because i'm awful at makeup but i love it and I want to give it a shot. And I knew the minute I saw her palette and she said that she had brought out a palette, I knew I had to support her. So straight away I went and bought it. And now obviously there is a highlight as well because Soph is well known for her highlight. She is always blinging, major blinging. So, um, but I didn't have enough money to buy it. It's only eight pound. This is only 10 pound. So it would have been 18 pound. But I have Halloween coming up. Um, so I have to save some costs. So I didn't get the highlight, which I know I'm going to be devastated about, but I will get it in the future, for sure. So it's just the palette today, and I'm so excited. I can't open it because I've just done my nails. <laughs> Do them well before in advance. Anyway, so when we take it out of the packaging, it looks like this. So it's really sturdy, really heavy, lovely pink palette, and inside, with the names on the top, here it is. So these are the colours in the palette. Oh, isn't that gar gorgeous? Now, um, one of the like, one of the, all of the names, sorry, all of the names have a meaning to Soph. So um, fairy lights, for example, she always has fairy lights at the back of her backdrop. It just looks gorgeous. So that's a reason. Um, and I watched a video, um, her friend, he done a look and oh, it's unbelievable, amazing, beautiful colours. Um, he was saying that she texted him to say that the colours are, so there's a green and a red for Christmas. There's the autumn colours, there's the spring, there's the um, winter colours. Which one did I miss out? Summer. Um, all the kind of seasonal um, looks that you could create are in this palette and that's what she wanted to do. And she had a hand in doing all of these colours. So um, that's pretty amazing balls. So I love them. I think they're great. Now, I'm not going to swatch them. I am just going to go in and do an eye look. I've left, this is after the school run, so I've already done my face up. But I've taken my eye makeup off and I've left a little bit of my foundation on. But my skin is flaring up because I've been eating chocolate when I came back from my holidays. So, let's create an eye look. This is an eye look that I'm going to do. is a look that is not for the daytime. It's not for going on the school run. It's just a look that so we can use some of the eyeshadows. So, um, please... Don't think that this is a look you can go copy. Not that you would on my channel. But um, yeah, it's just a look that I just want to try some of the shades. The green looks amazing, so I'm going to use the green. So let's go for it. I'm going to put in a base colour, and I'm going to start with that white right up the top. And that one is called Penguin. So we're going to go with Penguin. Okay. Wow. Wow, the pigment is good. 
really good. I went, I've had a Freedom um, palette before, so I went in really heavy handed there because the Freedom palette was, you had to use a lot of elbow grease to get it on. So that's a nice white straight away. I mean, I probably didn't need that much. Going a little bit lighter on the other eye. Um, but now they don't match. Okay, so you don't need much of that. That's mad. So I'm going to go in with um, this colour here for the transition shade. Because I want to make it something different. So this is um, Cloudberry. Or should we go with Iced Coffee? Mm, fairy lights or pancakes. Pumpkin. Right, we're just going to go with Cloudberry. Here we go. They're really nice shades to put on. I really like them. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade here, Pumpkin. Um, and we're going to go across that line again, but a little bit lower. And I'm just using the same brush. Right, you really don't need a lot of product. Because I have been used to the Freedom palette, I was expecting something similar, but wow, it goes on. The pigment's really, really good. And no fallout so far. Wow, that's really good. I'm impressed. This, this costs £10. That's great. Okay, now I really, really, really want to try the green, um, and this is Pine Tree, because it just looks amazing. So I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to use this Eco Tools brush. Just give it a quick clean just in case. And I'm going to put the green across the lid. I've just seen it and it looks amazing when it goes on. Right. Why does it never go on for me? You really have to pack this one on. Okay, that is it on and it goes on, re you really need to pack it on, but when you do, it packs on a punch. <laughs> so I really like that. I mean, the colours don't go magnificently well, but that is my skills, not the palette. So I'm going to go back in with this pumpkin, just to put a little bit more on the top. Okay, now I have seen a lot of people obviously put um, some like maybe tart shape tape underneath or um, before you put that green colour on and that works quite nicely and um, so it's a better base to put it onto but um, yeah it worked out quite nice. I really like that green and I think if you put it wet with a wet brush it would be really nice. Okay, I'm dying to use the purple which is this one here and this is called Mixed Berries. And I'm dying to try it, so I'm going to put it on the lower lash line.
Okay, so I'm gonna go finish off my face and I'll be back in a minute, all right? See you soon. Okay, that is my completed look using the Soph palette from Revolution. Now, obviously we have just went for colors that I just quite fancied. So um, we used the Penguin to start with and then we went into the Cloudberry as a transition shade. And then just underneath that, we went in with Pumpkin and then we went in with that green metallic shade, which was Pine Tree. And then underneath, down here, we went with Mixed Berries. But I mean, there's loads of shades I really want to try. So Petrol, that looks really, really nice. And then um, the Fairy Lights. So I'm going to try and do a little highlight with the Fairy Lights. So um, that's that top one there. So I'm just going to use my Nancy brush. Ooh, yeah. Fairy Lights is lush. I love it. That is lovely. So we'll stick it across the brow bone. I need my eyebrows waxed insanely bad. So I have to get to a shop real soon. So yeah, that is a nice little inner corner highlight. It's lovely, you can see it just bling straight off. See, I like that. Okay, so I mean, and there's tons more colours that you could really give a try. Um, that black one down there, I think that's Nightmare. Nightmare, yeah, that looks quite good. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really interested to try some of them out. Um, but I like this eye look that I've done. This is just a random look. I've just seen these colours and really wanted to try them. But, um, yeah, I do like it. It's nice. Oh, Soph does nails. Congratulations on your palette. I really, really, really like this for £10. I think the colours are fantastic. They go on really, really well. It's really blendable. There's hardly any fallout. The metallic shades are insanely good. Um, the green went on beautiful. I loved it. Um, and I can't wait to have another play with it. So I'll do another couple of looks um, and pop them up on my channel. If you're interested to watch them, please do. Um, so yeah, congratulations Soap Does Nails. I love your channel, I love your palette, and I totally recommend it. £10. £10. <gasps> Alright, thanks for joining me on this video. If you liked it, please give me a like. If you want to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Um, I put lots of videos up as much as I can, all kind of random stuff, but mostly to do with beauty. Um, so yeah, come back and see me, that'd be great. Take care of yourself and I will catch you later on my next video. Take care. Bye guys.